Hi, I'm Yossi Seymour, uh, and we're here at the entrance to the exhibition Life on Planet Osimani Rana. The exhibition is uh, both a, a communal, uh, an exhibition as a communal uh, living situation and as a participative cooperative radio. We're in the entrance right now. Uh, you can see the curtains from Touche Touche, a kind of molecular mix of all things possible, and, uh, and the painted skin, which forms the kind of stage of this planet. So we're here in the living space. Behind me is a, a dolmen-like yurt, tent structure, um, which is created by the painter Charles Benjamin. Uh, a series of mattresses uh, as, a, as a project between myself, the Macau Collective, and the Ramafla Occupied uh, Workers' Factory in Milan. And a series of videos where more or less you see uh, gestures of how to create an imagination for the new world. So we're here in the, in the workroom uh, with furniture created by the sculptor and artist uh, Thomas Sibiki, kind of um, post-psychosis uh, DIY furniture. Surrounding on the walls, we have contributions in the form of videos, posters, graphics um, from all of the collaborators in uh, Life on Planet Osi Manirana. So that includes the Macau Collective, Assemble, Dirty Art Department, Gang and Fiertel, Hello Fesh Spiele, uh, Selma Karan. So many, many people involved in this room with different works. And these are all kind of like fertile suggestions about creating the world that we want to live in. Here we have the most amazing DIY computer made by Jana Schimmel, uh, which is running uh, the website for Radio Osimani Rana, the online broadcasting uh, place of the radio station, www.radio-osimanirana.com. Uh, if you go there, you can see also how to make contributions to the radio uh, by clicking on participate in the website. So you're now in the, in the radio studio of Life on Planet Osimani Rana. This is the physical broadcasting place for all programs that can happen here on the planet. You can, of course, participate from afar by requesting a live stream on the website. Here we are fully equipped with many microphones, electric guitar, bass guitar, drum kit, drum pads, synthesizer, and many connections to other kinds of digital instruments. Yeah, we're here ready to invite you to come play, jam, broadcast, talk, say what you want to say for this creation of the new world. So you're in the changing room. Uh, the changing room is meant both actually as a place to get changed and also kind of symbolically as a metaphorically as a place to uh, change yourself. In the changing room, There'll be a series of clothing by the American artist uh, Anna Reutinger and Alexander Phillips, uh, which will be costumes that the visitors can wear to transform themselves into other beings, thus inhabiting this planet with non-human human beings. You have behind me uh, the sculpture from Lavinia Schultz and Walter Holt from the 1920s, which is also a past attempt at a kind of human transformation. And then you descend into the mud bath, uh, again, a place where we want to physically put you into this kind of molecular beginning pro organic process of world building and creation. And afterwards, uh, we have the DIY uh, autonomous shower system from Rainer Karendok uh, that, you can, that actually works and you can shower yourself off and get clean and dry and go and jam again in the music room. And now you come into the molecular mud bath, uh, the final room which is really about human transformation. Uh, this is a place for the visitor to really feel to be something else. Uh, we are in, uh, in an installation uh, by the Macau Collective from Milan, uh, which is essentially an interactive sculpture which is about the idea of a life not based on carbon and based on silicon and we hypothesize that this means that human drive, instead of going uh, finishing only in desire, actually finishes in joy.